Welcome to the NADFL channel. The Miami Dolphins have Tua Tungavailoa and that is a great thing for the franchise. They also have other options should they become available. Russell Wilson wants a trade out of Seattle and Deshaun Watson wants one out of Houston. In both cases, the Dolphins are not on the top of either potential quarterback wish list. Wilson reportedly said the Dolphins are not on his list of five teams he would accept a trade to. Watson has reportedly listed the New York Jets as his top destination. Meanwhile, Tua Tungavailoa continues to work out as a member of the Miami Dolphins. What is that old adage? One in the hand is worth more than two in the bush? This literally makes a lot of sense for the Dolphins. Earlier today we talked about why Tua Tungavailoa is better than he is getting credit for and that the media digs surrounding him are wrong and unwarranted. That being said, and I still think Miami's best course of action is to ride out the Tua train until it is clear that the rails are not working. We can't summarily discount the rumors, however. The NFL is waiting for the first domino to fall and while many figured it happened with the trades of Matt Stafford, Jared Goff, and Carson Wentz, those were not even the opening act of what could happen. The question that Dolphins fans have is, should Miami get involved and make a trade for Watson or Wilson? The short answer is yes, Chris Greer should absolutely answer the phone. It is not a knock on Tua to do so. If you can make your roster better by adding a top 5 signal caller, you take the call and look at the cost and then make a decision. Watson and Wilson are both special quarterbacks while Tua comes with the potential to be special. That is why the two in the bush are often appealing. I'm all in on Tua but if I had the choice to add Watson or Wilson it would be hard to pass on. Compensation would be a major issue at the outset of negotiations but to be honest, I might prefer Wilson over Watson a little more. Then I read that Miami isn't a preferred destination and teams like Dallas and Chicago are, I'm looking at taking a pass. The domino is which QB will get traded first, or will either one actually move on. If the Jets are involved, then we see Sam Darnold being traded. If the Raiders are involved we see Derek Carr on the trade market, we could also see Dak Prescott hit free agency if Wilson ended up in Dallas. That first fall will send a ripple around the NFL and if it is Miami that gets involved will Tua be a part of that deal or will he be traded after the fact? Miami needs to do its research. They need to answer the phone and they need to be prepared to walk away. Tua is not a bad quarterback he just isn't elite yet and he may never become elite. That is why fans are drooling at the prospect of a deal that changes the now and the future. This year, the Dolphins do indeed have options that may not come again for a very long time. Those options, however, include the man already tasked with turning the team into a winner.